Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly Tech Minute. Not gonna lie, it's a big coffee mug kind of day. Let's get started. According to the Metro Atlanta Chamber of Commerce's COVID-19 Emerging Trends Report, Microsoft is partnering with Morehouse College to address the digital divide by equipping newly enrolled students for the 2020-2021 academic year with Microsoft Surface 2-in-1 tablets. The MARTA Army and World Central Kitchen are also teaming up to do their part by feeding hundreds of furloughed and active MARTA employees affected by COVID-19. Plus, a new program with contributions from the United Way of Greater Atlanta, the Joseph B. Whitehead Foundation, and the Arthur M. Blank Family Foundation will award grants up to $20,000 to help Atlanta child care providers who serve low-income families stay afloat during COVID-19. Finally, Max Report shared that according to TSA's data, the number of Americans traveling by plane is climbing slightly, reaching a three-week high as some states are beginning to reopen. We could only cover a few of the highlights today, but you can check out the full report and find additional resources by visiting the links below. Next, Simon Property Group, owner of Lenox Square Mall and Phipps Plaza in Buckhead, will be reopening 49 malls and outlet centers in Georgia and across the U.S. between May 1st and May 4th, according to an internal memo obtained by CNBC. Simon Property Group will be implementing several measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including but not limited to, reduced hours to allow for deep cleaning at night, providing CDC approved masks and sanitizer to shoppers, requiring employees to wear face masks, and limiting the number of people in an area to only one person per 50 square feet of space. In addition to Lenox Square and Phipps Plaza, Simon Property Group will reopen Calhoun Outlet Marketplace, Mall of Georgia, North Georgia PO, Sugarloaf Mills, and Town Center at Cobb. For more details about how the biggest mall owner in the U.S. is preparing to open a number of its properties across the country, please visit the links in the comments below. Finally, Hypopotamus shared that Avid Exchange, a payment automation platform in Charlotte, Single Ops, an outdoor care software startup in Atlanta, and Panaceutics, a nutrition product provider in Ringgold, Virginia, raised close to a combined $140 million last week. The weekly report, known as Monday Fund Day, details who raised significant capital in the South. Check out the link below to learn more about these three companies and why you should be keeping an eye on them in 2020. That's all for this week's Weekly Tech Minute. Thank you all so much for watching and we wanna know how are you doing? Feel free to share that with us in the comments below. Are you back at work? Are you working from home? Are you just wishing this whole thing will be over with soon? Us too. Anyway, until then, hope you stay safe, you stay healthy, and we'll see you next week.